Corey, the, the schedule at the moment is is ridiculous. How are you and, and how are the boys all feeling at the moment? Uh, yeah, listen, it is what it is at the end of the day. Um, I know it, is, it, it does seem a little bit strange that we've got so many away games uh, this month, but at the end of the day, that's the fixture list and, and we're, we're, we're footballers and that's our job to go and play football. So um, I can't lie and say it is, it's easy on the body because it's not, but uh, we're, we're doing everything we can, the staff, the, the physios, the treatment that we're getting, recovery sessions. Um, uh, yeah, we're trying to do all we can to recover and be ready for each game as it comes and uh, try and win every game. Lots of games, lots of long trips. Is it at least a chance for, for you guys to spend some time together? Yeah, 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 I mean, we're still in a quite a fairly new group, but to be honest, uh, you know, we're, we're very close knit now. Um, the boys all got to know each other, obviously, there's a lot of new players, and uh, yes, yeah, so we don't mind the, the away trip sometimes, good fun on the coach, you know, um, being at the hotels together, having a laugh. So, um, yeah, it's, it's nice for, for the team to get together, um, and, and that's the positive, I guess. How was the coach journey back on Sunday? It actually wasn't too bad, to be fair. Yeah, we got back in decent time. Um, no road closures. Uh, you know, we thought it was going to be longer. Uh, obviously, the only disappointing thing is we didn't come away with a win. But, uh, you know, looking back, it was a frustrating one, but we're in the hat. Um, and we have an opportunity to put that right next week. So we're not out of it. And we've got to look, look forward and be positive. How much do you sort of dwell on, on disappointing results and, and think about disappointing performances, especially when you have to pick yourselves up and, and go again so quickly like you do this week? Yeah, I think that's that's the thing at the moment. There really isn't any time to, to dwell on it and, and and overthink it because if we sit there being sad and, you know, turn around, we've got Liverpool tomorrow, <laughs> so, you know, we've got another game in a few days, so there ain't no time for it at the moment and obviously we're a bit depleted in numbers at the moment as well, so... Uh, we've had a lot of injuries, a lot of suspensions. Um, so we haven't got time to, to feel sorry for ourselves. It's just uh, win a game, lose a game, draw a game. It's all focused on the next game. And uh, that's what we're trying to do. And we go into every game trying to win it. And, and that's all we can do. Injuries and suspension, part of the reason that you're in a right back at the moment. How are you finding that role? Yeah, listen, um, like the Gav's asked me to do to do a job there. And, you know, I'm... Uh, I, I, I like to see myself as a team player. Obviously, I've not really played there much in my career, but if that's what what is needed for the team at the moment, I'm happy to do it, and 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 I'll give my all wherever I play. You know, I'm, I'm always proud to be on the pitch and and play a game of football. So uh, I won't I wouldn't complain too much about playing in in a position. Obviously, it is new to me, so I might make a few <laughs> mistakes and stuff. But um, yeah, no, um, it is what it is. Uh, I'll try to give my best every game and. You know, um, I feel like I've been do have doing a decent job there. The gaffer seems seems happy with me, so um, I'll try and continue that if I play there in the future as well. You've had a really good career, uh, some really great achievements as well, playoff wins, promotions, all that, all that sort of thing. Do you still get excited about a trip to Anfield? Yeah, a hundred percent. I mean, uh, uh, I've got I've got two little boys now. My little girl's too young to understand; she's only one, but um, uh, they're very excited. You know. He said one of them this morning on the way to school, uh, he's like, Dad, I'm not sure if you'll be able to beat Liverpool, but you can try your best. So, you know, it's, it's that little little thing, you know, if I could get that win, I'll be able to say, what did you say, son? Do you know what I mean? So, um, listen, it, it, it's a dream uh, from a young age to play to play in these amazing stadiums, to play, you know, the, one of the best teams in the, in the world, to be honest. So, um, you know, I'll never take that for granted. You know, I've been through times where I've had tough times and had long injuries and stuff like that. So um, I know how special every every moment like this this can be. So you know, hopefully, we can go there, um, put on a put on a good performance, be solid, and and you know, you never know what can happen. It's a brilliant attitude to have towards it. Um, I think you were you captained Oldham there a good few years ago, didn't you? How how was that experience? Yeah, I, I played there for. Um, yeah, it was like like I said, it's an amazing experience. Something that I've got, I look back on. I've got pictures, of my family there, my mum, you know. Um, so that's why these moments are so special. And I, I managed to get Gerard shirt. So um, <laughs> do you know what I mean, it's, it's, that's something that that will stay with me forever. So yeah, it's, it's another opportunity. And and uh, but we're not gonna, we're not just there for a, for a day out. At the end of the day, you go there to to try and do a job, try and make your fans happy and proud of you. And you never know if you can get a result and then that'll top it off.
Will it be nice to, to be the underdog for a change? Because everyone else you play against this season, they're getting up to, to face you, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, it is what it is, you know. Um, uh, we play for a, for a massive football club and, and, you know, that was part of the reason we come to the club. And, um, yeah, I mean, it, it is like everyone's cup final, kind of, when they're playing against us. Um, uh, so, in a way, you know, maybe it will be nice to have a game where, where we're obviously the underdog, but at the end of the day, it's a football match. Once you're on the pitch, it's 11 players against 11, and um, you get put in a, in a structure, and, and you have a plan, and you try and execute it, and um, that's what we'll look to do.